What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we had lots of new Funko drops for Demon Slayer, One Piece, as well as we have first looks at some new Marvel Pops, Naruto Pops, and more. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So it has been a crazy morning of pre-orders of Chase bundles, exclusives, and I'm sure you guys have spent a lot of money. Let me know in the comments below, how much did you spend today? Now we're gonna be going over all of the new drops that happened today, as well as all the new exclusives that did follow. And then we have a couple other updates and newer stuff to show off. So with that being said, if you're excited, make sure to hit that like button down below and let's jump into it. Now as a reminder, if you still need to pre-order anything or any exclusives, I usually keep all the links down below in my description box. So make sure to check that for anything you might need. Now jumping into it, firstly, these new Biddy Pop sets of Parks and Rec and the Lord of the Rings set. These are actually coming in May and are currently available still. For any fans of the show Succession, the five commons did drop today and they do have an April release. And next up for my Demon Slayer fans, your common set of pops did drop today at multiple different stores. And these ones do have a May release. And these are your chase variations for Tengen and AoE, Tengen being metallic and AoE having that made outfit on. And those ones are expected in May as well. Now, I actually saw a lot of people saying that they didn't like the Tengen chase. And I'm curious, do you guys like it or do you not like it? For me personally, he's a very flashy character. So I understand the metallicness. He has his swords out. He wears a lot of jewelry. So I get why it would be metallic, though I think Diamond Collection for the Chase would have been really great as well. A lot of people wanted him to be missing a hand, but that kind of happens later on in the series. So I kind of understand the simple chase in this aspect. And overall, the Tengen mold is really fantastic. They did a great job designing it. So I'm kind of fine with this metallic chase personally, but again, let me know how you guys are feeling about it. Now we move on to the fun stuff for Demon Slayer. So here are all of our exclusives. So first up, we did have the Muscle Mouse here. This thing's so freaking awesome. So this one has a May release and is an Entertainment Earth exclusive, still available for pre-order. I was a little bummed to see that they did in fact not flock it. That was so weird, but I'm sure we're gonna get a flocked variation in the future. Now a few more exclusives do feature the three wives here, Suma being a Funko Shop exclusive, Makio a GameStop exclusive, and Hina there, probably the best mold out of the three, being a Chalice Collectibles exclusive. Now Makio did go live for pre-order today, she is expected April 2nd, Hina is expected in June at Chalice Collectibles, and Suma will most likely be dropping around April through May, just in a couple months here. Since she's a Funko Shop exclusive, they don't sell until they get it in stock. Now our final exclusive today for Demon Slayer there is another Tengen Uzui here and we do have Tengen in his kimono there. I will say this one turned out really great. He is really looking like a vampire to me though to be honest. Honestly if it didn't say Tengen on the box and it didn't have the Demon Slayer logo I would genuinely think this is a vampire from some movie but either way it's a great looking Tengen mold. Nice little Funko Shop exclusive and again will release in a couple months. Alrighty guys so you are caught up now on the new Demon Slayer collection. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and what are you most excited about. Next up for One Piece we do have the Yamato Beast form here so check this out. On the bottom there is that new glow variation over at Entertainment Earth. The glow is actually really neat, but I do think it could be better, honestly. I was expecting like glowing eyes or just more different colored glows on this one because here are your in-person looks. Sharing over from Entertainment Earth's TikTok, it is looking like, in fact, as the glam shows, just that blue glow outline. I think the face is just black light reactive, so it's not an actual glow-in-the-dark feature, it's just, you know, when you shine your black light on some pops and it reacts, that's that situation. I do think if they made the horn red tips kind of glow-in-the-dark and the eyes and the face glow, it would have added so much more, but I get it. Yamato's not exactly like a glowing character like that. But then again, some random molds they've made glow in the dark actually turned out really great, even though the characters aren't glow. So I do feel they could have put a little bit more effort into the glow this time around. Now at the moment with Yamato, Yamato is actually sold out on Entertainment Earth. So not sure when this one's going to come back, but it is very possible they're going to drop some stock. But just as a reminder, 
Other stores like FYE get in their exclusives, which is always really nice, as well as the Funko Shop will get it in eventually, just in case it doesn't go back in stock anytime soon over at EE. Now, if you happen to not care about Glow Pops though, you can pick up the Yamato common variation of this pretty easy. Now, moving on guys, we actually did have two more things for Demon Slayer, so I didn't show you everything yet, but here is everything with that Yamato keychain. So we do have Kano, Muscle Mouse, and Yamato. All these keychains are expected in May, so if you don't want the full size items, you can just pick up those for space reasons just in case. Next up for Yu-Gi-Oh fans, just as a quick update here, it looks like the Yu-Gi-Oh GX line in fact did not drop today, and these are all your commons just in case you missed yesterday's video, including Elemental Hero Avian and Burst and Atrix, Harpy Lady, Ojama Yellow, Winged Kuribo, Chaz Princeton, and Jaden Yuki there. And on the right, we actually had our Harpy Lady 3 exclusive. Now, Harpy Lady did actually go live for pre-order on GameStop's website, but they keep taking it down and throwing it back up. Not really sure what that's about. Maybe it's because it's supposed to drop with these commons later on. But yeah, if you're able to get your pre-order in, it should be fine. But if you didn't yet, We'll get it later, don't worry. Either way though, at the moment, this Yu-Gi-Oh! GX line is not dropping this week, so make sure to stay tuned for now. Next up for any Godzilla fans, go ahead and take your first looks at classic Mecha Godzilla. This one's definitely really sweet. Also an Entertainment Earth exclusive dropping in April, so make sure to secure your pre-order if you're a Godzilla fan. Next for X-Men fans from the X-Men 97 series, we actually have more 8-bit pops here. So here's your full new set. We do have Sauron, Spiral, Mojo, Roberto, and Abyssissa, I think that's how you say that. But yes, it looks like Funko is doing more of that 8-bit design here, and everybody hates these. <laughs> like. From the majority, I think at least 99% of people hate these. And if you like them, that is perfectly fine. Just from what I've been seeing with comments on my posts and everybody else's, the majority are just not liking these and not understanding the decision here, myself included. We were off to such a great start in 2024, and then now we have these. Uh, here's hoping they don't continue with the 8-bit. Because genuinely, it's a great idea for the 8-bit, just not every character, you know? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and here it just doesn't. But if you happen to be interested in these, all of these are Target exclusives set to drop pretty soon here. Next up for Star Wars Rebels fans, get excited because we have now a cheaper option for Ezra here. So check this out, a new Toy Temple exclusive releasing April through May of this year. Here he is. Now the pretty fun part about this exclusive is that the first 5,000 people who pre-order this pop will actually get a custom sticker that says first to market LE5000 for this exclusive specifically. So if you're a Star Wars fan, you don't own Ezra yet, and you're a sticker junkie, that's an all-in-one combination there. Make sure to head over to Toy Temple and pick yourself up one. Alrighty guys, so that was everything available for pre-order today. Now again, check that description box down below if you guys do need any links. Now moving on, I did have two more new things I did want to show you. So first up, from TargetCon here, shared from Blaze Flareon on Twitter, we do have first looks at another exclusive of Squirrel Girl here. So this is an upcoming comic cover. Turned out really great to be honest as well. And a lot of people seem to be pretty excited for this one. And if you are one of those people interested in this cover, this one will be dropping February 18th. Now for Naruto fans, a new Madara Uchiha Funko Pop was actually spotted. Sharing over from Funko Chibi Cartoon on Facebook, here's your first looks at a new Madara here in six paths. So he does have the double Renegon as well as the Sharingan in the middle there. Actually looks like a pretty cool mold. Though like everyone else personally, I'm still also kind of deciding, do I want this one or do I like the last Madara we got that was glow in the dark? Because the full glow in that was amazing. And this one looks really cool too, but do I need another Madara? I don't know, I'm kind of deciding here. But let me know what you guys think. At the moment, there is no word on an exclusivity or if this is a common just yet. I'm assuming it is an exclusive given it's just kind of random here and we don't have another Naruto wave coming for a little bit. So stay tuned for more details if you are interested. One more thing I actually want to let you guys know is over on the Funko Shop, lots of new things did drop today for in-stock order. So check this out. We do have the new Deadpool collection of commons as well as the Funko Shop exclusive Ranger Deadpool. And for Spidey fans, the Target exclusive Spider-Punk cover is still in stock and available. We also had two Star Wars exclusive, the 332nd Company Trooper, as well as the Darth Maul vs. Uh, Visala 2-pack. For any Dune fans, we had the full common collection available, as well as a couple of the Trigun Pops and Keychains. We even had the Pokemon Deluxe moment available there, and Ted Lasso with Biscuits. On this next page, we had a couple Loungefly items, as well as the new Goodfellas set is available, and more Dune Pops. So guys, those are all your news updates 
for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any further questions or concerns about anything we just talked about, as always, drop that comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. And as a reminder, make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy. I am gonna go ahead and end off this video though by saying a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.